You seem quite busy, Sai-san. I take it you're stuck in the middle of everything? The Phantom Thieves made a mockery of us when they brought down Kaneshiro. And to make matters worse, Mejid, who has been dormant for some time now, just declared war on them. How much more can they screw us over? Stress is bad for the skin, you know. Did you come all this way simply to be sarcastic? How about you listen to my deductions for a change of pace? You may think it absurd, but don't you think the case you're pursuing and the actions of the Phantom Thieves overlap somehow? What are you basing this off of? The one point of commonality across all cases is how those involved have an unforeseen change of heart. I've suspected that myself, but those suspicions are unfounded. I told you at the beginning that this was only a deduction. These just phantom thieves are riling up the public. However, that is a disguise. Their true goal is terrorist action by way of psychotic breakdowns. Is that too much? There's nothing at the moment that falsifies that claim. Have you mentioned this to the police? I'd never tell them such things. The only value they have to me is in their mobility and organizational capabilities. Hmm. It seems having you lend me a hand has paid off. I'm glad to hear that. What about your case, Sai-san? Did you learn anything from the guardian of that mental shutdown victim's daughter? Nothing at all. I see. Now, what should my next action be for our victory? Handle the Phantom Thieves without remorse. Use any means necessary to win. That's how I would deal with them. <laughs> Very well. This seems to be fun for you. Are you on to something? No, not at all. Well then, to our victory. Okay. Time for sushi. Place is in Ginza, right? Do we take the usual train from Shibuya? Please just let me go change out my DVD, I beg of you. Famous for luxury shopping, its property values are the highest in all of Japan. All right. Can now go to the Ginza sushi bar. I also need to really hurry up and get Hafumi to rank four so I can buy more books. Man, the flounder is out of this world. Mm. That texture. Uh, I don't see any prices listed here. It's called market price. Don't worry about it. We got the cash. So good. Hey, is the fatty tuna ready yet? Get your horses. And don't talk. By the way, is Boss really the kind of person who would abuse someone? That again? I can't get it off my mind. Especially if it means he could be taken to court. If you keep thinking poorly of Coffee Daddy, then I will actually, like, I will ruin your soul. What kind of person is he? Do you truly believe he'd do such a thing? No chance. Hmm. If it's really true about the abuse, he'd be a no good jerk pretending to be a guardian. Maybe the chief is the one who needs a change of heart. Maybe I need to skin you alive, you worthless cat. Hold on a sec. About that, I actually got curious after our conversation and checked his name in the nav. On, first of all, I'm furious at you for ever even considering. Second of all, I'll let it slide because you're about to prove these dumb idiots wrong. Sounds to me like there wasn't a hit. Right. Anything beyond this is his family's problem. We probably shouldn't get any more involved. Wait, you think Alibaba could be Boss's ex-wife? He must have cheated on her, and that's where Futaba came from. Are you okay? Doubtful. Your imagination has run rampant. How foolish. Mm. Still, this is delicious. I've never experienced anything quite like it before. Man, 
And it's all thanks to us being the Phantom Thieves. I hate you! Crap. Uh, um, the fan fantastic This sushi is delicious. Ryuji, I'm going to start putting a muzzle on you when we go out places. Y yeah The fish is so fresh. <laughs> Everywhere we go, we hear about these phantom thieves. What rubbish. Think about where we are, Ryuji. No, how about you just think? Sorry, it just kind of slipped. My apologies for bringing up boss again. We should just enjoy the food. Yeah, you ever bring him up again, I'm gonna end you. Ijima-san, what are you doing here? Akechi-kun. Akechi? You're the ones from the TV station. Could it be that you're friends of Nijima-san? Do you know this guy? It's nice to meet you. My name is Akechi. Glad to make your acquaintance, Yusuke Kitagawa. How do you know my name? Well, because I'm a psychic, of course. <laughs> Dude, I love it, catchy. <laughs> I'm only joking. In truth, I'm a rookie detective. You're a former pupil of Madarame, right? I have actually just recently joined the investigation team looking into the Phantom Thieves. Did you see that Mejed has declared war on them? War? Their website was updated just a moment ago. For real? Ah, English again. Wait, what? What's it say? Huh. Why do you seem so agitated? Oh, um... It's because we're the Phantom Thieves. Just say it, Ryuji. Just say it. She's, uh... A huge fan of the Phantom Thieves. A total nut job for him. Hmm. I don't know how wise it is to be a fan of groups like them. What is with these comments? My apologies. I didn't mean to butt into your conversation. But I must say, this is an interesting group. Now, Makoto, you've been making comments about Coffee Daddy, which is, like, punishable by death. So, you're no one to be talking. Prosecutor Nijima's sister, an ex-pupil of Madarame, and a few Shujin Academy students. It seems you're all connected to the Phantom Thieves. Perhaps you have better intel than I do. Ah, yes. I wanted to ask you something. Did, is this one of the parts in the game where you would get a rank up with Akechi in the OG version because it was all story locked? I can't remember. Regarding this whole Mejed commotion, if you were one of the Phantom Thieves, what would you do? I mean, I'd retaliate. Mm. So you share the majority's opinion. Sorry to disappoint, but we're just normal high school kids. Ryuji, look at us. Even if we weren't the Phantom Thieves, we're not normal. Anything. We want to hear what you got to say, Mr. Detective. My profiling of the Phantom Thieves has led me to believe they are a group of juveniles. They have a relative amount of free time after school and a hideout to slip away to. Furthermore, considering Kamashita was their first target, it seems they began activity around April. In a way, all I've just said about the Phantom Thieves coincides with the group you have here. Akechi, how did you figure all this out? Well, as it turns out, I played the original Persona 5, so I already knew. What? You gonna report us? I didn't say I was being suspicious of you. Ryuji's a phantom thief. M me? You're siding with him? Yeah, it sucks to have it turned on you, huh? How the turntables? I wasn't anticipating that response. You always find a way to rise above my expectations. You really are an intriguing one. I lack your calm mannerisms, but don't you think my deduction is an interesting one? You want to go hang out at the, the jazz club again? I bet we'd make a great team if we worked together. <laughs> the ultimate tag team. What? 
the hell are you saying? <laughs> finally! It's finally here! Well, this has been a valuable point of reference for me. I hope to see you all again. What? What was that about? What? You think he's ascertained our true identities? Nah, couldn't be. Right? I'd like to say that it's simply us overthinking this, but maybe best to be cautious from now on. What? We shouldn't forget that Alibaba was able to discover who we are. True, but it's not as though he had tangible evidence to prove that discovery. Just keep acting normally. More importantly, things are getting serious with Medjet. Oh yeah, what did they write? Here, I'll read it. We are disappointed in the people of Japan and their belief in the Phantom Thieves' false justice. Hence, we shall proceed with our plan to cleanse Japan. This process will commence on August 21st. As a result, the Japanese economy shall suffer devastating damages. For real? Keep going. However, we are magnanimous. We will give the Phantom Thieves one final opportunity to repent. As proof of this repentance, we demand that they reveal their identities to the public. We will attack if these demands remain unmet. The future of Japan rests with the Phantom Thieves. We are Majed, we are unseen, we will eliminate evil. That's what it says. Mm, sounds bad. In other words, if we don't unmask ourselves, Medjet will attack Japan, correct? And it seems they are quite the attention seekers. What are we gonna do about this? Only we could get in contact with Alibaba. Our only clues are Boss and Futaba. Anyways, it's too damn hot out here. Why don't we go to Leblon? We can talk more over there. Nice, <laughs> dude. That sound clip never gets old. We went through all sorts of options on our way here, but looks like we got no choice but to ask for Alibaba's help. Question is, how do we get in touch with him? He cut off all contact with us after that misunderstanding. Then again, if we manage to steal Futaba's heart, he may attempt to reach out to us once more. But we don't have any clues on what her keywords are. Damn it, Alibaba! Where the hell are you? Actually, he may be closer than we think. Huh? Hypothetically speaking, even if we stole Futaba's heart, how would Alibaba know that the deed has been done? Would he truly be able to discern that just from cell phone messages? You mean he'd have to meet her in person? Alibaba was able to deliver the calling card here. On top of that, he can check on Futaba's condition. However, according to the circumstances he put forth, he's unable to meet with us. This leads me to believe that it would be bad for him if we were to see the two of them together. It seems to me, Alibaba may in fact be Futaba herself. For real? So, she's asking that we steal her own heart? Maybe she wants us to save her from the scars of her abuse. That would be hard to ask directly. I'd like to meet with Boss. He lives nearby, right? I know where his house is. I'm gonna take you there just to prove that you're all a bunch- Like, literally all of you collectively share, like, 0.3 brain cells. And you're idiots for suspecting Coffee Daddy of anything bad. So I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you up because you're all idiots. I agree. It's real late though. What are we gonna tell boss when we get there? We'll say this takeout sushi is a gift for him. But my fatty tuna! No complaining. Let's all go together. Boss may get the wrong idea if he and I show up alone.
nobody's answering. But the lights are on. Think she's napping? Even Boss would have woken up with how many times we've rung this doorbell. I would think Futaba would have answered by now if she were here, too. Oh, the gate is unlocked. I have successfully infiltrated Boss's house. Dude, you can't go opening other people's stuff like that. Clearly he can, he just did. But look, the door seems to be slightly open as well. I wonder why. That's rather careless. Whoa. It sounds like it's going to rain. We should get inside. Do you think that's okay? I don't know. Probably. My apologies, boss. You better apologize. Get on your knees and grovel. Hello, sir? He's not out, is he? The door ahead is open, and I can hear the TV. I hope he didn't pass out or something. I mean, boss is kind of old, ain't he? How old would Sojuro be? Probably in like his mid-40s at worst, right? Probably. I can't see him as being over 50. Also, look at how many doors there are! Yo, boss has got a sick house! I'm a bit worried. Should we go in and check on him? Please excuse us. Scream? What was that? How should I know? Did you hear that? Let's get out of here, please! Can we just go? What are you freaking out for? Could it be Alibaba? I mean, Futaba? Uh, sorry, um, can I hold your hand? You're such a literal child. You're not holding my hand. <gasps> I can sense someone's presence. Who is it? He's home. Who the hell are you? Don't move. Did you hear me? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry, sis. Somebody please save me. We're so lucky the coffee daddy was feeling generous today. He could have just ignored turning on the light and literally just like stared at us hard enough that we burst into flames because he can do that. But he chose not to. You? What are you doing in my house? Yeah, this scumbag had some wrong ideas about you, and now she won't get off my leg. She's a literal four-year-old. And so I had to come and prove her wrong. You're... Oh, good... Good evening, sir. We... We didn't mean to intrude... Is that a, is that like a ceramic frog on Coffee Daddy's table that is the entry to his house? Coffee Daddy is a fan of Naruto and his favorite character is Jiraiya, which is very acceptable. I love it. Nijima-san. Wait, are, are you two dating? We're just friends. I wouldn't even call us friends. Friends nowadays get that close to each other? <laughs> but that's not it. This um uh things happened and 
Yeah, so the power went out, there was a strike of thunder, and then the Inkling from Smash Bros tried to battle us because I'm in Smash Bros now. So we were like, you know, Inkling showed up like, yo, is it time to smash? And I was like, now is not the time to smash. You kids are here too? Um, we brought you some sushi, but nobody answered when we ring the bell. The door was unlocked too. We could hear the TV, though, so we got worried he might have passed out or something. The door was unlocked? Yes. <sighs> I do that sometimes. Guess I'm getting old. Um, excuse me. There's something we'd like to ask. Hmm? You want to ask me? There's someone else living here. Isn't there? Yeah, my daughter. Could she be Futaba Sakura? You told Nijima-san too? Uh, um, is there any way we could meet with Futaba-san? I think we may have frightened her earlier, so we'd like to apologize if at all possible. Well, uh, that's... Is she sick? No, it's not like that. I don't want you all getting the wrong idea. <sighs> I shouldn't have kept this a secret from you. Let's talk at my shop. She'll hear us if we stay here. Yes, I got some news for you. She's gonna hear you at the shop as well. 